Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. We're given two to the power of x times six to the power of the quantity two minus x over 15 to the power of the quantity negative x minus one times five to the power of the quantity x plus one. And it wants us to evaluate. This is day 26 of our Algebraic March calendar. If you want to try it on your own, pause it right now because I'm going to solve it in three, two, one. First, let's deal with all of these exponents that have pluses and minuses. Here's the notes for those right here. If you ever have x to the a minus b, you can rewrite it as x to the a times x to the negative b. So here, the 6 times 2 minus x, we can rewrite that as 6 to the 2 times 6 to the negative x. And for the 15 to the negative x minus 1, we can rewrite that as 15 to the negative x times 15 to the negative 1. And for the 5 to the power of x plus 1, we can rewrite that as 5 to the x times 5 to the 1. Next, we can clean up all the negatives. Here's the notes right here. If you ever have a negative on top like this, where you have x to the negative a, you can rewrite that as 1 over x to the a. And if you ever have a negative exponent on bottom, like 1 over x to the negative b, you can rewrite that as x to the b. So we can do the same thing here. This 15 to the negative x power on bottom can be brought up, and it'll be 15 to the positive x. And this 15 to the negative 1 on bottom can be brought on top to be 15 to the positive 1. And then this 6 to the negative x on top can be brought on bottom to be 6 to the positive x. And now we've gotten rid of all the negative exponents. And let's smush everything together. Next, I want to combine all of these that have the same exponent. So these are the notes right here. If you have something like c to the x times d to the x, you can rewrite that as cd to the x. So in this case, we have 15 to the x times 2 to the x. We can rewrite that as 15 times 2 to the x, which equals 30 to the x. And same thing down here, we have a 6 to the x times 5 to the x, and we can rewrite that as 6 times 5 to the x, and 6 times 5 is equal to 30. And now since these match, the 30 to the x on top and the 30 to the x on bottom can cancel each other out. And now we've gotten rid of all the x's, so this is just going to be a number. The 1 exponents aren't doing anything. 15 to the 1 is 15, and 5 to the 1 is 5. And then 15 and 5 are both divisible by 5, so this simplifies to 3. 6 squared is equal to 36, and 36 times 3 is 108. This is the answer to our question. All of this will simplify to 108. Let's put a box around it. How exciting. And here's tomorrow's question. It wants us to solve for dubs, x, y, and z. And we're given a 2x2 two two matrix is equal to another 2x2 two two matrix. I think it's going to be a 4x4 four four system of equations. You're not going to want to miss this one. How exciting.